Jeremy Clarkson has admitted his sneaking feeling that King Charles' upcoming coronation will make history as England's final ever one. Clarkson's farm star Jeremy is concerned that the royal family is broken, due to Prince Harry's revelations and Prince Andrew being embroiled in controversy. As a result, the former Top Gear host has predicted, there won't be another coronation, in England after King Charles's in May this year. Despite his gloomy premonition, Jeremy Clarkson 62, insisted he would prefer to have the monarchy continue in Great Britain, rather than having an elected president like the US, Joe Biden or France's Emmanuel Macron. Putting pressure on the organizers of Charles's coronation, Jeremy said the event needs to be, bigger and better, than previous royal pageantry, if it is indeed set to be the last. He explained, for many years, there have been questions about the royal family. People have said it costs too much and that it's stupid to have a hereditary head of state. And now, of course, those questions are getting louder. In his latest column for The Sun, Jeremy suggested that Prince Andrew's scandalous friendship with the late convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, and Prince Harry's explosive insight into the royal family with his book, Spare, could spell the downfall of the firm. He added, people are saying that thanks to Prince Andrew and Harry's book, the whole royal thing is broken, that you could take it down to J. Blade's repair shop barn but the experts would be forced to conclude that all of the king's horsemen and all of the king's men couldn't possibly put it back together again. I see their point. The monarchy is built on a foundation of mysticism. It derives its magic powers from forces we don't understand. It's an institution built on fairy dust. And that is lost somewhat when they're all falling in dog bowls and, like Prince Andrew, giving money to girls they've never met. Although the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire presenter understands the criticism surrounding the royal family in recent years, he believes Britons would regret opting for a president instead. He concluded by predicting that if a president was indeed chosen after Charles's reign comes to an end, the public would look at William and Kate and think, you know what, I'd rather have them. Jeremy's views come in the wake of Prince Andrew, 62, being told by his brother King Charles. 74, that there is no longer any place for him at Buckingham Palace. The Duke of York was previously stopped from using his HRH title after reaching a settlement with Epstein victim Virginia Jufri, 38, last year over her sex claims made against him. Andrew has always denied Ms. Jufri's claims and did not accept culpability. Prince Harry, 38, meanwhile, has unleashed his real feelings about his time within the royal family before leaving the UK for California with his wife Meghan Markle, 41. The Duke of Sussex shared an insight into a physical altercation he had with his brother, and future king, Prince William, 40, over the Duchess of Sussex.